Hello everyone and welcome to the programme this Monday. We start with a breakthrough between the US and Canada in the renegotiation of the three-way NAFTA trade agreement with Mexico. It did go to the wire, but they've agreed a new version of the North America Free Trade Agreement, which accounts for $1.2 trillion of trade annually. It'll have a catchy name, the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, or USCMA. News of the reform trilateral deal said the Canadian dollar soaring to five-month highs in Asian trading. The Mexican peso has also been climbing. Now, Canada is, of course, the U.S.'s second biggest trading partner, exchanging over $580 billion in two-way trade in goods and services last year alone. One big sticking point, though, has been dairy. Under the new deal, U.S. farmers will gain access to around 3.5% of Canada's dairy market. Here's what the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, told reporters as he left his office. Mr. Prime Minister, is it a good deal for, is it a good deal for Canada? Good day for Canada. How come, sir? Good journey for Canada. Well, we have got with us uh, Christophe Bondi, who's trade lawyer at the law firm Cooley and former trade advisor to the Canadian government. And he was just explaining to me there that you're involved in the CETA negotiations between Canada and the European Union. Is that correct? That's right. It's in so you've looked at the detail we have so far. It's not all there by any means. We're expecting statements. Uh, later from, I guess, Canada and the United States. What do you make of what we know so far? Well, to me, it sounds really positive. In the first place, that the deal has been concluded. Uh, but beyond that, uh, at least from a Canadian perspective, I think Minister Freeland and the lead negotiator, Steve Rahul, are being congratulated with what details are coming out. We were holding the line on having anti-dumping and countervailing duty uh, joint determinations. That's in place. Uh, c the cultural exception, that is in place. Uh, access and indeed enhanced access in autos and also not having a guillotine clause for the agreement five years down the line and maintaining dispute a state to state dispute resolution so those are all good things so the impression is Canada's coming out of this rather well which is interesting given the fact that uh, President Trump was saying Mexico and, and the US will go it alone if, if Canada doesn't climb on board well the US didn't have the, the president didn't have congressional authority to negotiate a bilateral U.S.-Mexico deal and also, it appears, wanted to have a deliverable. He said he wanted to renovate NAFTA. You know, they had a basis in that they had been discussing for years the CPTPP, the, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which the U.S. walked away from, but it would be very interesting to see if, how many elements of this update are drawn from that prior TPP discussion, which Canada and Mexico are already parties to. And just to say, all three countries are now on board. This trilateral deal can go ahead. Obviously, there's congressional approval and, and various other hurdles, but most would agree this is possibly how it's, it's going to go forward. Are all three countries in a better position? Well, certainly from the perspective of integrated North American trade, yes, all three. And that, in fact, was what Canada was looking for all along. We weren't looking for something that where there were winners and losers. The thing is, when the pie is getting bigger, then everyone stands to benefit. It's important to mention, though, that tariffs on steel and aluminium are not a part of this. Is that correct? Yes. So that remains a sticking point. You're right to mention that, because that was something the U.S. imposed uh, this past year, and Canada has taken the position that these tariffs are illegal. They've been based on national security, and we're, we're the U.S.'s biggest, uh, closest security partner. Um, and so that will continue, that discussion will continue. Canada's countervailing duties are in place. But I think that one can expect to resolve everything in one place through the trade agreement. So getting this through has been a huge achievement. Christoph, it's been great to have you with us today. Thank, Thank you very you. much for sharing what you know. And uh, as I say, when we get the official statements later from the US, from Canada, etc., we'll update you. We will indeed. But